A special hello to my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Raymond from the Raymond 7779 channel, and hopefully this will be a short video. I wanted to share with you these digital after the rapture packets that I've created. About 7 gigabytes of information on an 8 gigabyte drive, lots of information on it, and explain to you the, the why and how to get a hold of it. Now, first of all, I want to make clear this is free of charge i'm not asking for any money i have never monetized a single video ever on social media i'm not going to start now this is a small act of obedience to the lord to whom i owe so much anyway i wanted to show you here let me just get to the next slide when we were talking about after the rapture packets years ago it was always uh Bibles and book forms and written materials and so forth, which is good. These are great to leave in your home so that when you're raptured and people are coming in going, where did so-and-so go? And they see an empty home. At that point, they see these materials that explain, I'm sure they'll know other people as well who have disappeared. And so they'll be asking questions. And of course, there is that false narrative However, we are explained away. Some people suggest UFO aliens will be, at least the narrative will be used to try to explain where did these guys go. We need to get these after rapture packets, at least a letter or so forth, in the hands of these people so that they will not take the mark of the beast and they'll make correct choices when they're in the tribulation. Now, let me get to the next slide. This is what I've created. This is 7 gigabytes of information. Believe it or not, it's a lot. 400 files. Just on the simple... 8 gigabyte hard drive. These are $3 on Amazon. You can get them cheaper as well. And a tag just to explain to people if the rapture has occurred and explains what it is. The files in this USB drive will have important answers for you. And there you go. And they, hopefully they'll, they'll access it. They could take this and it's self-contained and go to a friend's house on their computer, download all the files. Or just via their computer make copies on other USB drives and hand them out to people and so forth. This could literally go viral. And we're talking about the tribulation period where I imagine Christian content will be removed from the internet very quickly. So this will get information out them that they need for salvation to resist the mark of the beast and so forth. These flash drives are completely self-contained, meaning you have a bunch of PDF files that can be read by any Adobe PDF reader or a knockoff reader. You have Word documents and you have MP4 video files, and those are a standard format that can be viewed by almost any video player and so forth. You might not know this, but a lot of the, say, Bible phone apps require you, every time you log in, validate through the internet your account before you can start looking at material. This avoids all that because it's simply on the drive. There's nothing to validate, no internet connection needed. They will have all the files. It's just a collection of PDF files, Word documents, and uh, video files, and so forth. Anyway, I gleaned this from a bunch of different sources on the internet. Look what it has. The full Bible in 80 different foreign languages. You've got English versions, King James Version, New King James Version, and English Standard Version. I have a bunch of Bible study guides. One of them is 900 pages long. Another one, 100 pages. A lot of web articles and materials. Most importantly, how to get saved in Jesus Christ. The point of all this. When they have little information left in the tribulation, this could bring many to Christ. I'm hoping so. Also, your own letters to uh, the left behind, those people. Videos and manuals and web articles particularly directed at those who are left behind. So that, that is a, a real benefit of this. 400 files, 40 videos. Again, not asking for anything for this. I just want to get this these files, whether you download them or I send you a drive in the hands of as many people as I can. This is how you get the files. First of all, you can go directly to my Google Drive account, and there the files are accessible. Here's the URL, tinyurl.com forward slash after rapture packet. And before we go on, let me just show you what that looks like. Here we are. This is my Google Drive, and the very first document, there are four folders here. This is a missed rapture and left behind folder. Within it, there are four subfolders. Here, one Word document. Just double click on it. Here you go. How to download the After the Rapture packet from this Google Drive. Step-by-step uh, -step instructions with screen captures and little uh, instructions along the way. So I prepare this. It's very easy to follow. It would require you basically to go through these four main directories. 
read me first scriptures, videos, and written materials, one, two, three, four, and one at a time, download them. It'll create automatically a zip file, and you have to unzip it on your end. If that's a little bit too complicated, then we still have the email. Please don't leave your address in the comment section or any sort of personal information. If you just simply email direct to me at raymond7779 at ymail.com that's a y not a g and put after the rapture packet in the subject line of the email that's it okay for all the materials i want to point out i went to various online sources and i try to borrow heavily from pastors and christian writers that understand and teach the pre-tribulation rapture but also the infallibility of the bible and also, and most importantly, salvation is by God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ alone. It's not of our works. I want to point that out. That should not be controversial. It's in the Bible and so forth. I know there's some discussion online about that. Writers, uh, pastors like J. Vernon McGee and Chuck Smith, they're both deceased now. A lot of free materials of theirs is online, and I borrowed heavily from that. So just wanted to share that with you. Keep in mind, this is a collection of files, so you can add your own letter. You can add your own files if you feel the move to you can remove files and so forth it's just a collection of files that are available that people can just simply download with a flash drive onto another computer or create another flash drive and hand out and how invaluable i hope that might be in the tribulation when christian content disappears that's the point of this. If you're so inclined to create some after the rapture packets on USB drives, I provided screen captures here of the USB drives that I've ordered just because they're they're cheap at $3 each. You might find others that you like better, but this is just a sample and here are the tags that I've used for it. So thank you for sticking around for this video. On a final note, I've been born again for about 12 or 13 years. It was a product of a very difficult divorce, a very troubling divorce. But God had worked mightily in me, and one of the things he did is he gave me discernment as to the end times that we're living in now, which I imagine you have as well. We see the rapture, we see the tribulation approaching rapidly. That's a sort of discernment. I consider it a spiritual gifting. I wanted to share this verse here because I thought, I'll be strong to the end, but when you live through it, yes, there's strength in Jesus Christ, there's strength in prayer, but it's, I, I find myself often with little strength. So I thought of this verse here, you know, Revelation 3. Uh, For you have little strength. You have kept my word and not denied my name. Because you have kept my command to persevere, I will also keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world. And that is the rapture. My brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you. One last verse. Because you have fought the good fight and finished the race and kept the faith. There is a crown of righteousness waiting for us in Second uh, Timothy 4. So thank you. Let me know what you think about these uh, digital after the rapture packets. Uh, anything I could do differently, contact me if you'd like me to send you one. Again, through the email so no one gets your personal information. And God bless you.